most exciting musical matchup, 10 seconds. And now, here's America's musical maestro, Dan Miller. What a <laughs> Thank you all very much for coming here today. Thank you for joining us here today for 10 Seconds. And you know about this game. It's all about money and music. And it's a good time for the next 30 minutes. Just stay right there in your favorite chair and play along, if you will, please. $2,000 in our jackpot today. And two players have joined us here. And we're going to say hello to them right now. First of all, from Dowell, Illinois, Sarah Morgenthaler is here. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi. Good to have you here with us Thanks. today. Where is Dowell, Illinois? It's in southern Illinois. In the southern uh -huh. part. So, Southern Illinois University, is that close uh -huh. to you? The Salukis, yeah. is that what they're called? Uh -huh. Yes. You came to Nashville on your honeymoon. Uh -huh. Two and a half years ago. How exciting, huh? Why, it did, was. You, why did you choose Nashville? Because my husband and I both like country music and we had never been to this part of the country. Nice part, isn't mm -hmm. it? Great city here. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll bet you did. <laughs> Well, oh yeah, the music and all, yeah. sure. Uh, we're glad that you came back here with us. Yeah, I'm just kidding you. We're glad you came back with us today. I hope you have a good time here with us, okay? I will. Good luck to you. We also want to welcome our returning champion from Hickory, North Carolina, Bruce McGuire is back. Welcome, sir. Thanks. How are you? Oh, pretty good now. A little bit better. Have you recovered from yesterday? That was a nerve-wracking yeah. game, wasn't just it? Just a little bit, maybe. Yeah, it really was one of those games that came right down yeah. to the wire. Good player over tough. here. $2,000 at stake today. You could use that, couldn't you? I need it. Who yeah. couldn't use $2,000? <laughs> right. Sure. Good luck to you, Bruce. Good Thanks. to have you back here with us today. We are all set for round one of 10 seconds. Two grand in the jackpot. We'll be back. Follow some busy women through your favorite store and you'll... 10 get better fit, better hold with Ezo. Ready for the game. Bruce and Sarah have joined us here today to go after a $2,000 jackpot. And you know about the game. As I mentioned, the idea here is to identify song titles in our nine categories. So for the first round, let's all take a look together, shall we, players at the board? See what we have for round one. California, That's My Girl, My Kind of Man, Tears to You, Fair Trade, Red Alert, Blue Notes, Never on Sunday, and oh boy. Keep in mind as you look at the title of these categories that that's a clue. It's a big clue to the title of the song that's contained within that category. Bruce is our returning champion back for his second attempt here at the championship. So Bruce, if you will, please start us off. Let's try Tears to You. On the left side of the board, players, we find 45 points behind there, and I can tell you that in round one, as you know, the categories range from 10 to 50 points. Higher the point value, the more difficult the question. We're starting off pretty tough here. In August of 1961, a male hit the pop charts with this song, and he took it to number two. 1961. Well, since Bruce picked out our category, it's up to Sarah. She will decide how much of the song we hear up to 10 seconds. What Four do you say? Four seconds. Punch it in there for me, Sarah. And now Bruce must decide, does he want to try this or would he like Sarah to go for it? Whichever of these players tries to identify the song, if they do it correctly, they get the points. Incorrect, their opponent gets the points. Bruce, we've had time to think about it. What do we want to do? I'm going to try it. Okay, here we go. 1961, Tears to You. Play it. I was all right. Crying. Oh. Crying. That's the name of the song. Roy Orbison. Because Katie Lang had a hit with that song years later. Well, he gave me the correct answer, so he picks up the 45 points. That's how we play the game. And now since Sarah is trailing, she will select the next category, Sarah. Red alert. She wants a red alert on the right side of the board. 25 points on this one. May 1992. A female hit the country charts with this song. She took it to number 14 on the charts. Bruce. Tell us about the time. How many seconds on this one? One second. Boy, he's you want to do it in one second. I like this. Here we go. 1992, one second. Red alert. Play it. Looking for something in red. Something in red. That's what it is. Lori Morgan. Good. I like that attitude. 45 to 25 over here. Sarah, let's see if we can continue this. Never on Sunday. Okay, on the bottom row in the center, 20 points on this one. September of 1970, a male hit the country charts with this song, and he took it all the way to number one. Going back to 1970, Bruce, how much time do we need for that? Two seconds. <laughs> now we say two seconds. What do you say? Bruce can try it. Okay, Bruce, she wants you to do this. 1970, never on Sunday, two seconds. 
play it. And there's nothing showing. Sunday morning coming down. Yes, very good, very good. Johnny Cash with that song back in 1970. He picks up another 20 points. It's 65 now, 25 for Sarah, and she's going to the board. What do we think? California. Okay, upper left-hand corner, 15 points. Keep in mind, we think this will be easy. August of 1965, a group hit the pop charts with this song, and they took it to number three on the charts. Bruce, we're coming to you. 65 the year. How much time? Eight seconds. He says eight seconds, I'll try Sarah. It. Yeah, that's quite a bit of time. May as well try this. So, 1965, California. Play it. Well, California Girls. That's it. Sure, the Beach Boys. I wish they all could be California Girls. 65 to 40 over here. Keep it going now, Sarah. Fair trade. In the center of the board is what she would like. 40 points on Fair Trade. March 1968. A duo hit the pop charts with this song. They took it to number 11 on the charts. Very popular song, though, back in 68. Bruce, how much time? Five seconds. Sarah, he's going to give us five seconds. I'm going to try it. Okay, we can do that. 1968, Fair Trade. Play it. Parsley, sweet rosemary, and thyme. Oh. Are you going to Scarborough oh. Fair? Oh. Scarborough oh. Fair. Simon and Garfunkel. 40 points go over here to Bruce. 105 to 40 over here. Still four categories. Still round one. Sarah, select. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 35 points on this one. August 1963, a girl group hit the pop charts with this song and took it to number one. 1963, Bruce says... Three seconds. <laughs> Three seconds, Sarah. I have to try it. <laughs> okay, we don't have to, but we can. 1963, oh, boy. Play it. He went away. My boyfriend's back. My boyfriend's back. That's it. Yes. Very good. By the Angels. Back in 63. She picks up 35 points on that one. So now we have 105 to 75 with three categories remaining. Keep going. We'll catch him here. My kind of man. Okay. Top row. Right side. 50 points. Keep in mind in your strategy here. This is going to be tough. May of 1985. A group hit the country charts with this song taking it to number one. Bruce, we're coming to you, 85 the year. What's the time? Four seconds. Sarah, he says I'm four gonna seconds. Do it. She's going to do it now. I like that. 1985, <laughs> My Kind of Man. Play it. I was a damn builder. Highway Man. Oh, sir. Very good. Very good. Jimmy Webb song back years ago, Highway Man. Good job. 105, 125. Sarah has taken the lead on that one. Bruce, now we go to the board with two categories. Blue notes. In the bottom row, 30 points. His selection, September of 1979. A female hit the country charts with this song, and she took it to number six. Sarah, we're coming to you now. How many seconds? Three seconds. Three seconds, Bruce. What do we want to do? I'm going to try it. Okay, here we go. 79 the year. Blue notes. Play it. Blue Kentucky Girl. Very good. These guys are playing well. Very good. Emmy Lou Harris with my blue Kentucky girl. He picks up 30 points. He goes back into the lead by only 10. 135 to 125. One category remains in round one, Sarah. It belongs to you. Let's take a look. That's my girl. And behind there, 10 points. So we think it's going to be very easy. Here's the clue. Here's an instrumental version of a song that was a number one hit for a country group in 1981. So we're coming to you now for the time, Bruce. How many seconds? Gonna have to be six seconds. Six seconds, okay. Sarah. This is for you. 1981, this was a hit. That's My Girl. This is an instrumental version. Play it. Elvira. Yes, Elvira. Remember the Oak Ridge Boys had a big hit with that song. She picks up those 10 points. I like it at the end of round one. 135, 135. We'll be back with round two. to our Game We Go with our host, Dan Miller. Thank you, Don, so much. We are back for round number two. Great game underway. We're all tied up, deadlocked, 135 to 135, and ready because two grand at stake today. That's within the jackpot. We need nine new categories to play this round, so let's all take a look together, shall we? See what's up there. That's my job. Earth Angel, Nightlife, Swing Shift, SOS, Berry Pickin', Food for Thought, Lover's Question, and Leave of Absence. 
Remember now, in round two, our point values double. Categories range from 20 to 100 points. And there is that catch-up question at the end of this round. Literally anything can happen. Well, we are all tied up, and the one to do that just before we got out of round one was Sarah. If you look at the board, select a category, please. SOS. Right in the center of the board is where we're starting. 55 points. Good luck, players. Here we go. June 1951. A male hit the country charts with this song, taking it to number two. Well, Bruce, we can start off with some time here. How many seconds? Three seconds. He says three seconds. What are we going to do, Sarah? I'm going to let Bruce try it. <laughs> okay, Bruce, she'd like you to start us off. 1951, S.O.S. Play it. A picture from the past can't... I can't help it if I'm still in love with you. Very good from that. Really, very good. That's tough. 55 points he picks up. Nicely done. 190 over here to 135 over here. Sarah, let's find something else up there. That's my job. Okay, top row. Left side, 25 points. June 1962. This instrumental hit the pop charts, and it went all the way to the top of the charts. Number one. It's an instrumental from 62. How much time, Bruce? Five seconds. Five seconds. I'll try it. Okay, let's do this. You've got five full seconds. Listen to it. 1962. That's my job. Play it. Chorus line? No, but close. The stripper. Yes, the stripper. Remember that? David Rose and his orchestra. 135, 215 over here. We can catch him easily. Select a category, Sarah. Um, food for thought. Okay, let's turn that around on the bottom row. We can do more than just catch him on this one. 100 points. August 1964. A group. Hit the pop charts with this song, taking it to number two. 1964, 100 points. How much time, Bruce? Four seconds. Four seconds, Sarah. What do you want to do? I'm going to try it. Are you? Okay, yes. here we go. 1964, Food for Thought. Play it. I like bread and butter. Yes! Woo! Yes! Larry Henley singing uh, that. Wow, that was impressive. She takes the lead. 235, 215 over here. Bruce, now let's pick us out a category. Let's try berry picking. Okay, right side of the board. 50 points on this one, October 1956. A male hit the pop charts with a song, taking it to number two on the charts. Sarah, you control the clock now. How many seconds? Three seconds. Bruce, your decision. I'm going to try it. Let's do it. 1956, berry picking. Play it. Blueberry Hill. Very good. Fats Domino. I found my food. Picks up 50 points to add to his total. Goes back into the lead. 265. 235. Sarah, select, please. Nightlife. On the top row, right side, 35 points on this one. May, now 1991, a male hit the country charts with this song. Took it to number two. Bruce, we're coming back to you now for the time. How many seconds? Two seconds. Two I'll seconds. Try it. She <laughs> wants to do it in two seconds. 1991, Night Life. Play it. There's a no. Small Town Saturday Night. Not in time. Oh. I'm sorry. Not okay. in time. The buzzer had started. Yeah. Small Town Saturday Night, the correct title, just not in time. 300 over here, 235. One second short, weren't we? Go back to the board. Still four categories up there, Sarah. Swing shift. Okay, left side of the board, 40 points on this one. January 1983, a male hit the country charts with a song, taking it to number one. Bruce, how many seconds? Six seconds. Quite a bit of time. I'll try it. Okay, Sarah, here you go. 1983, swing shift. Play it. There's a little guy. Swingin'. Swingin', yes, John Anderson. 1983, good over here. Our score now, 300, 275. Three categories left in round two, you select. Leave of absence. Okay, bottom row, right side. 90 points riding on this one. September of 1988, a male hit the country charts with a song, taking it to number one. Bruce, you control the clock. How many seconds? <gasps> Seven seconds. Seven seconds? I'll do it. A lot of time. Here you go, 1988, leave of absence. Play it. Walk away. I'll leave this world loving you. Very good. Yes. 1988. Pretty quick here. She goes back into the lead. 365 to 300. Bruce, two categories you select, please. Earth Angel. On the top, behind there, 65 points. Again, a lot of points. January 1981. A male hit the country charts with this song, taking it to number one. Sarah, you control the clock. What do you say? One second. 
Man, Bruce, what do you say? Mm, I'm going to have to let her try that one. Okay, for 65 points. Here we go, 1981. One second, Sarah. Earth Angel, play it. Leave me. Angel flying too close to the ground. 65 points. Go over here to Bruce. Now it is tied up. 365, 365. We are down to one category remaining. You just tied it up. Whatever the point value, remember, I'm going to double it. Let's take a look together, Bruce. You just tied it up. Lover's question. Behind there we have 75. Now it's worth 100. And 50 points riding on this one. Here's the clue. April of 1975, a female hit the pop charts with this song, taking it to number three. To number three. 1975, you control the clock. How much time? Four seconds. Four seconds. 150 points. Bruce, what do you want to do? I'm going to let her try. Okay, back over here. Here we go. 1975, lover's question. Play it. Someone to love me? When will I be loved? When will I be loved? 150 points at the end of round two. 515 over here. 365 over here. Time for the catch-up round. Grab your pencil and paper for me, Sarah. I've got a medley of three artists for you. 100 points for each one you correctly identify. Get all three. I'll give you 400. We've got to get two of these, Sarah. Looking for the artist. Play it. You must think my bed's a bus stop. Won't you give me just one more chance? Maybe we could make this right. We have to get at least two. Who's number one? Barbara Mandra. Yes, number two. Exile. Yes, number three. Roseanne Cash. Yes, she got all three of them. Picks up 400 points. A score of 765, not a 515 over here. Got a different medley for you, okay? Remember, looking for the artist, we've got to get all three to retain our championship. Ready, go. Well, I don't believe that heaven waits. I'm sorry. Yeah, I finally got some tickets to... We've got to get all three of these. Bruce, who's number one? Don Williams. Yes, number two. Brenda Lee. Yes, if you get this one, you're still a champ. Who's three? Elvis. I'm sorry. Mac Davis doing Hooked On Music. Mac Davis, he did not get that. He picked up 200, 765, 715. Brand new champion. Sarah, shake my hand. Woo, take a look at the board. Don, we need a prize for this young lady. And Sarah, you picked up the new Hoover Carmax vacuum cleaner with dual motors and remote controlled brush roll. Deep cleans all carpeting and hard floor surfaces. Nobody gets dirt like Hoover. Nobody. A nice game, Sarah. Good job, Sarah. Stay right there. We're going to go for the money in just a minute. It means we'll have to say goodbye now to our champion. Bruce, I hope you had a good time with us. I did. I enjoyed Came it. Came to the wire both times. Yeah. Excellent play. Come back and see Thanks. us. We're coming right back, going after two grand here on 10 seconds. Nancy Griffith, Ted Atkins, and Ricky Skaggs. Irish eyes will be smiling this St. Patrick's Day, especially if they're watching TNN, the Nashville Network. Guests and stars of 10 Seconds Day at Clubhouse in Nashville, just minutes from Opryland. Complimentary breakfast and evening receptions make you feel at home. Call 1-800-CLUB-IN. Dan Miller's wardrobe today, provided by Botany 500. And Sarah, now boost your bank account and win this game, Dan. Thank you, Don. Excellent game, and Sarah has earned the right to be here. Going for the money right now in 60 seconds. We can make a pretty good chunk of change here. How much money to be exact? $2,000 in cash. A lot of money. Let's see what our categories are up here, Sarah. Keep on trucking day by day, shoe shine, brotherly love, bye bye love, sure thing, Spanish class, reptile rock, and hey mister. As you know, we're starting with keep on trucking. If you miss it, we're going on. If you don't know it, say pass. We'll continue on. Once we've gone through all nine categories, then we come back, pick up the ones that we have missed the first time through. The more correct answers, the nicer the prize. Nine out of nine, two grand in cash. We can do this. Good luck. We're starting with keep on trucking. 60 seconds on the clock, please. Exact title, Sarah, and just yell them out. Good luck. Ready, go. It was a dark of the moon on the 6th of yes, June. Yes, day by day. All my troubles in path for Shoe shine. Be the one. To be in your shoes. Pass. No, no. Brotherly love. Pass. Bye bye love. Pass. Sure thing. Pass. Spanish class. Pass. Reptile rock. Crocodile rock. No, that's not because it. Hey, mister. Pass. Day All by day. Pass. So okay. Shoe shine. Be out of your and shoes tonight. There you go. Brotherly love. Pass. Bye bye love. 
Bye bye, baby. No, I can't take that. Sure thing. Pass. Spanish class. Pass. Reptile rock. Come a chameleon. There you go. Hey, mister. Pass. Day by day. Pass. Ooh. I is it nerve-wracking up here or yes. what? You did great. Three out of the nine, the ones that she did uh, not get. Let's see what they are. Day by day, yesterday by the Beatles. Brotherly love, he ain't heavy, he's my brother. Bye bye love, we had to have baby bye yeah. bye by Gary Moore. <laughs> sure thing words. was how can I be sure? <laughs> Spanish qu class was Malaguena and hey, mister. Mr. Walker, it's all over. Oh. Well, Mr. DeShiel, it's all over up here. We need a prize for three of them. Take a look. All right, Dan, the LR1622 sensational value in a lightweight multiple stick sewing machine that's perfect for beginner or expert from the New Home Sewing Machine Company worth $550. Thank you, Don. Tomorrow, right here, $2,500 on 10 seconds. Bye-bye, everyone. Additional prizes for 10 seconds provided by Classica Kitchen Nutrition Cooking System featuring Whistling Tempto. This unique healthy food preparation method preserves vitamins and minerals from Regalware. Seconds is a Reed Land production. Ireland St. Patrick's Day on TNN tonight. I'll watch you at home. All these marvelous CBS shows. I said Melvin watched. Melvin watched. Okay, that's that's very good, I think. What do you say? I think it's Fandango. You know, Edgar introduced me as Big Bill Anderson. You'll be surprised how many people come to see our show, and the first thing they say when they see me is, I didn't know you was the tall. You thought I was short, fat, and redheaded, didn't you? He you was didn't. until he had his body capped. <laughs> <laughs> come on along. Let's meet the people that have come to play Fandango with us this time. Hey, Bill. I'm Jimmy Gilstrap from Anderson, South Carolina, and I do my home sales work. Well, you can't be all bad if you're from Anderson, South Carolina. I think somewhere way back that town was settled by some of my distant kinfolk. Is that right? Yeah. So welcome it's to Nashville. Nice. They won't admit it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Tell Lee Westmoreland from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm a housewife. All right. Nice to have you here. You. This man's our current champion. Remind everybody about you, Harold. I'm Harold McCrary. I'm from Lincoln Park, Michigan. I'm employed by General Motors Cadillac Division. And uh, we're going to turn around and let me sit over here, and you're going to sit over there, and if I win, you're going to give me a Cadillac, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Harold, Lee, and Jimmy are our contestants. We're glad that you joined us. We're going to be back to crank up the action right after you watch this. Watching those messages. Jimmy and Lee, y'all are the new kids on the panel. Let me remind you how we play this game. Harold figured it out pretty good his last visit. We have two kinds of questions, toss-up questions, bonus questions. On the toss-ups, all three players are eligible. The first one to flash in, give me the correct answer, earns 10 points and a chance to answer a bonus question. You choose your bonus category from heart to heart, family affair, number one, are you from Dixie? Look at there. Cousin Minnie Pearl is our star of the day. We got a folk song category, third-rate romance, hillbilly heaven, and Bo Cephas. Now, on the bonus questions, you wager any number of points up to the total amount that you've accumulated. Get the bonus question right. We'll add that number of points to your score. If you get it wrong, we take them away. We play two rounds. Highest total score wins the game and a chance to play Meet the Stars for our grand prize. One of these nine categories over here is also our secret square. And if you'll show it to the folks at home there, Mr. Director, Producer, Person, thank you very much. Uh, the contestants don't know what it is, but if you select it and choose that for your bonus category, get the question right, we'll double the number of points that you wager if it is the secret square. Edgar, try to go easy on my green coat today, would you? I'm not going to say anything about Arnold Palmer's garage sale today. <laughs> not, not, not anything. I won't say that at all. Did you know that our floor director, Chuck, used to be the opening act for Minnie Pearl? No. Yeah, he used to do an act with a monkey until it ran away with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, uh. he misses that monkey. <laughs> All right, hands on your buttons over there for the first 10 points of the game. It's a colorless, bright, artificial gem made of hard glass. It also describes the cowboy that Glenn Campbell sings about. What, Lee? Rhinestone. Rhinestone, you're right. Lee's got the first 10 points. 
I could have said Porter Wagner has them embroidered on his shorts, but I didn't do that. Okay, you got the first 10. How many you want to wager in which category? I'll bet 10 on third-rate romance. All right, third-rate romance category. This one's all about country music cheating songs. Of course, there are lots of cheating songs in country music, and this man is known for a lot of cheating songs. Here's one of his best. I want you to listen and tell me who is singing. I'm loving on back streets living on Maine. Suffering on your page, I got no, no that was the late Mel Street. Yeah. Mel Street sang some great songs like that. That one's called Loving on Back Streets and Living on Maine. Well, the game's still even. Nothing to nothing to nothing. All right, here's one of these questions where we put together, folks. So listen carefully. If the wild-haired comedian who is married to Fang was married to the Coca-Cola cowboy instead, what would her name be? Minnie Pearl? No. <laughs> Come on. Think a minute. Think a oh, all right. Audience, we'll play this with the audience. The wild-haired comedian married to Fang. Who are we talking about? Phyllis Diller. Phyllis Diller was married to the Coca-Cola cowboy. Mel Phyllis. All right. What would her name be? Phyllis Phyllis. I didn't invite you to play. I said audience play. <laughs> Edgar, goodness gracious. All right. We're roaring right along. It's still zero to alt to nothing over there. Here's one of the greatest songwriters around singing one of his many hits. Listen and give me his name. I took myself down. Jimmy? To Chris Christopherson. Chris Christopherson, right. The Silver Tongue Devil. Now, you got 10, Jimmy. How many do you want to wager in which category? Uh, 10. Uh, let's go with uh, Heart to Heart. All right, you just happened to select our secret square, so right off the bat here, if you get this one right, we not only give you 10, we give you 10 more. Heart to heart, this has nothing to do with the television series. Here's a pretty heart song. I want you to listen and tell me the name of the man singing. He's got a hillbilly heart. Johnny Rodriguez. Johnny Rodriguez and hillbilly heart. Right. Okay, 30 points, and they stick for Jimmy over there. I'm going to send you a... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to sing you part of a Merle Haggard classic. And when I stop, you sing the next line, okay? I got over you just long enough to let my teardrop fall. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> Harold. I got over you long enough sing it. to let my heart aches mend. Sing it. Today I started loving you again. You call that singing? Oh, well. <laughs> sing, come sing it. I got over you just long enough to let my heartaches mend. Today I started loving you That's again. That's a lot better, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> That's got a great melody the way you do it, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, I've made a career out of singing like that. What am I talking about? Okay, you got 10 points, Harold. How many do you want to wager and where? I'll go 10 with number one. All right. When it, see, see, I've made a career out of when in doubt of the melody, just recite. So that's what you do. This fella scored a number one hit in 1965 with this song. Listen and tell me the name of the man singing. Who is the girl wearing Dale Reeves. Dale Reeves, the girl on the billboard. And the question of the night is, how do you know that there are rhinestones on Porter Wagner's shorts? Because I a... saw him on Ralph Emery's show the other night, and he held up a pair and showed them. Why weren't you watching? Oh, that's a slick way out of that one, wasn't it? I have a surprise prize to give away with the next right answer, Bill. It's dinner for two at Paul Polk's Family Restaurants, chicken, seafood, and so forth, with quality homestyle cooking, fast, friendly service at an affordable price. Paul Polk's, more than good food, it's a good feeling. Right you are. Jack Blanchard and Misty Morgan recorded a song about birds walking southward in their dirty underwear. Harold. Tennessee Bird Walk. Tennessee Bird Walk was the name of this song. How do we get all these underwear <laughs> questions on here? Okay, you got 30 points, Harold. Jimmy's also got 30. I'll go uh, 20 with uh, Are You From Dixie. The man from Michigan going to do one on, the, on Dixie, huh? All right, we're looking for a state. This state is the home of the Citadel Military Academy. Its nickname is the Palmetto State. And singer Leon Everett is originally from this state. What Dixie state am I talking about? Louisiana. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, tell him. South Carolina. South Carolina is what we were looking for. Well, that's what happens when a guy from Michigan gets a question about South Carolina. All right, you're back down to 10, Harold. Here's a country superstar singing one of her early hits. Surely you know who this is. Well, good morning. Harold. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton, of course, in the Mule Skinner Blues. Okay, you're back to 20. Okay, I'll go 20 with uh, Family Affair. 
Okay, oh, they're trying to get you to bet them all <laughs> over there. Charlie Leuven is the surviving half of what was originally the duo act of the Leuven brothers. Name the other brother. Ira. Ira Leuven, right, the late Ira Leuven. Okay, 50 points.